boy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Quark Pizza. We were talking about ass. We literally were not. Not this time. <laughs> like, Nezzy just hopped in, so. Hey, Big Mac. Yeah, I had a funny story about my FNAF plushies. You want to know the dumbest idea that I had about mm. like, so I, when I got the money, cause I, I, I like it when YouTubers do like those little competitions to help out their audience. I think it's like a really nice thing to do and I want to do it someday. But like one of the things that I wanted to do if I ever got like a tablet or money or whatever, it was like, Guess my favorite FNAF character out of all of them, and, uh, you win. <laughs> I mean, that's an easy one. Which one is it? It's the... it's the Freddy from, uh... From Security Breach. It's actually not. That's interesting. I like him a lot, but he's not my favorite. Is it the Gator, then? From Security Breach? No. Okay. If it helps, it's none of the characters from Security Breach. That's very interesting. I had one specific character that I really, really liked since its release. Mm. And that has been consistently my favorite for years. I like the design, I like the story. I think he's a derpy little guy and I love him a lot. It's the cupcake! No. Okay. Also, I think there's, like, several cupcakes. Yes. <laughs> there are several different versions of the fucking cupcake. <laughs> okay, if it makes it... Well, actually, I don't want to make it too easy. That would make it too easy. Yeah. I would imagine. <laughs> It's like I said, out of all the characters in all of the entire series, this one is my favorite. Is it the puppet? No. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be guessing. You're getting close, though. Getting close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also, he's the plushie that <clears throat> freaked me out, little guy. He's right by on my bed. Got a jumbo plushie of him. Do you have a plush at Balloon Boy? Probably not. No, I hate Balloon Boy. <laughs> I have a rivalry with Balloon Boy as much as I have a rivalry with Chica. <laughs> I feel like it's one of the bodies. No. You said I was close with the puppet, though. Mm-hmm. If you, if you guess it, I will Kofi you five to ten dollars. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> now I'm just kind of guessing for the principle of it all. <laughs> Alright. Um... Toy Bonnie? No. Although I do love him a lot. I love that your idea was to first go to the security breach once. <laughs> and it was like, no actually. I like them a lot. I do love a lot of characters in this series. But they're not my favorite. I don't know if anybody in the chat is also guessing. No, no one else chat. is. No one else is. I've given you a couple hints. Yeah, I mean, you said that it's 
close with Marionette, so my brain is just thinking it's probably FNAF 2. But which character? You want me to give you another hint? Sure. You're looking in the wrong place. Uh, you said it was close to the fucking puppet, though. It is close uh... to the marionette, but it's not FNAF 2. The marionette appears more than in FNAF 2. The marionette also has like several hundred different forms, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, back to square one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I felt your fucking fuse. I felt your fucking light dip out when you learned that it's none of the security breach guys. No, I thought that I thought that was interesting. Honestly, that probably was more more the thing that started the challenge for me. Because uh, I remember I, I put out a tweet as a joke saying, like, I bet none of you can guess my favorite. And everybody was like, is it Monty? Is it Freddy? It's like, no, actually, it's not. <laughs> and I know people are probably going to be like, you changed it. You changed it to make it harder. It's like, actually, no, I have had this plushie for about uh, a solid year now. I bought this, I think, before... I learned about Security Breach, I don't remember, but I had solidified my favorite, and I had specifically sought out to find a plushie of him. The Jumbo plushies. <laughs> I'm not that predictable, Susie. <laughs> I wouldn't have asked the question if the answer was obvious. You have just stopped drawing. <laughs> I'm some thinking, what else could... <laughs> what else is close to the marionette? I don't know FNAF that well. <laughs> is it the little white bear? Huh? The little white Freddy bear thing? I don't know what its name is. Are you talking about Helpy? Maybe. Little white and pink bear that kind of looks like, yeah. uh, kind of looks what? like, um, sister location Freddy, Funtime Freddy. I guess. And then no. Okay. Yeah. You're getting a little closer. How is that close? <laughs> I was just shot in the fucking dark. How is that closer? <laughs> Once you get it, I will explain everything. Uh. uh Big Mac is asking Mangle or Circus, baby. That's it. Ooh, those are good nope. guesses. Uh, no. Nope. Although I do love Mangle. But nope. Close to the puppet, but also close to... What do you call him? Helpy? Helpy. And he's not a cupcake. No. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I just love how that's a character. Yeah, the cupcake is his own individual being. I <laughs> love it. It's great. By the way, the cupcake is a fucking asshole. 
in uh vr the vr game he's a dick <laughs> he'll just appear sometimes and of course players will be like oh it's the cupcakes and try to touch him and he'll fucking jump at your face that's hilarious actually i love that i love that for him um Uh, it's not from Security Breach. I think the funny thing about the Mangle and Circus Baby thing is that you were simultaneously getting farther away and closer at the same time. Big Mac asks, small spring bonnie? Nope. Right. You're getting farther away again. Well, I- those aren't my guesses, those are Big Macs. <clears throat> I'm still fucking thinking about what possible characters there are that's both close to the fucking marionette and to the little fucking white and pink bear. I don't know enough about FNAF for this shit. But now I'm just kind of wanting to guess on the principle of getting it right. <laughs> Your hubris. Your hubris. Like, the challenge has been brought, and I'm fucking... I accepted it. <laughs> I'm gonna feel really bad if I don't eventually get it. And I, I personally can't tell you, one, because you would get mad at me, and two, because I do want this to be a challenge in the future. I'd have to wait a long time because of... I don't know how many people are watching your stream, but still. <laughs> I'm holding him right now. I think I have an answer, but I don't know what his name is. What does he look like? He's like a little clown dude. He's got like one then eye. No. no, not that. You mean a clown? What? Yeah, he's like a little Are clown dude. He's like... I don't... I don't fucking know. The clown that's missing an eye, but has, like, a wire body? Yeah, something like that. That's entered, and no. Okay. I'm just, I'm just throwing fucking shots in the dark now. <laughs> He's a yeah. very niche character. That's why I'm guessing, like, these really niche characters. <laughs> I wouldn't say Ennard is niche. Is he not? I don't know. Fucking, I don't ever really see him in the promotional shit. No, I guess he would be a niche character, because it was, it was one of those things where you would have, one, had to find out who he is through a bunch of promotional shit, and two, you wouldn't know who he was until, unless you finished the game. And then the bonus content, I believe. Yeah, I'm only guessing characters that I, like, never see anything from now, like... Which is hard, because I don't know FNAF enough. Are you FNAF enough? <laughs> no, I- I know I'm not. <laughs> Part of the reason why I'm- I'm- I'm taking so long drawing this character is because I- like, I'm also looking at, at the side here for FNAF characters. Hey. <laughs> Again, I don't know their names. Put it in the Google search, like, close to Marionette, but not an LP. <laughs> I doubt that would help. You'd actually put that in the search bar? No. I said I doubt that would actually help. Oh, okay. I was like, did you actually? No. Mm. 
It's not Mr. Hippo, is it? No. Dang! <laughs> I, I do love him a lot. I like his dialogues. I love him. I truly do, but it's not him. Have I played the new Saints Row? No, it's uh, it's on. It's an Epic exclusive, and I haven't. And I, I, I don't say, do Epic stuff. I will say you're getting closer. Closer with Mr. Hippo. Now I'm mm -hmm. way more confused than I was before. Well, I'll let you think about it. For now, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Hello! Oh, I'm gonna butcher your name. Uh. Ashurikamashi? Welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. But yeah, no, I have not played the new Saints Row, um, adverb. I don't. I don't have. I don't do. Well, actually, I think I might have an Epic account, but I don't do anything with it. I think I only have an Epic account because I wanted to learn, uh, Unreal Engine. For, like, game development stuff. I don't use the store, like, ever. I don't like the the Epic store. So. You gonna dev a game? I wanted to. Um, I don't have the... I don't think I have the drive to, though. I really wanted to, though. I, I I looked into it, and I've even taken classes for game design and stuff like that. But I, I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the, the fucking drive to actually develop a game. Call you Ash. Fair enough, fair enough. I think Epic is owned by Tencent. Yeah, it is. But that's not my biggest problem with the Epic Store. To make an RPG with their OCs. I've also looked into RPG Maker, but again, I just don't think I have the drive to actually learn it. <laughs> Not right now, at least, for sure. I do know how I would make a game based off of my lore. I actually have, like, concepted, con conceptualized, there you go, that's the word. I have conceptualized a bunch of, like, what you would need to do in the, in the game, like, how the game would work, uh, like, all the, the different aspects to the game, what kind of, uh, aspects to the game that I want. I actually have, like, a whole idea in mind for how I would do it, and I have it all conceptualized, but again, I just don't know if I have the drive to actually sit down and develop anything like that. I wanted to do game design growing up, like, well, anim it was, I wanted to do animation and game design. Uh, neither of which I know how to do properly. Well, I know how to do them, but I don't know how to do them, like, to a professional extent. And I don't really do either, so. It's great. I, uh, I quickly fell on my dreams. But growing up, those were, like, the big two things that I wanted to do. I wanted to make, like, cartoons and little animations and stuff, and then I also wanted to be a game dev. But, uh, neither of those panned out.
What are my thoughts on the new Tales from the Borderlands Telltale game? Any opinion on that as a former Borderlands player? No. I have not seen anything from Tales of the Borderlands. Should have made your dream political commentary. Ah, why would I want to do that though? It's not. It's it's not fun. It's exhausting. I feel like I'd burn out even quicker on politics than I already did. Any opinion on the Contra games? A lot of them are very archaic now. It's not to say that they're necessarily bad, but they're very dated. You cancel easily, they have that too. I want to double check that I have, like, enough room to do this. Or if I might have to need to shrink the glasses a little bit. I want to make a ROM hack that connects all regions. I spent way too long trying to guess Nezzy's favorite character. I should probably like, focus on this. <laughs> I used to want to do something with the professional wrestling, wrestling industry when I was younger. Oh yeah, so Yose. <clears throat> uh, thank you for the follow. Um, oh, Ash. Thank you for the follow, Ash. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, no, there was the, uh, yeah, I, I too wanted to, like, when I was really, really, really young, I wanted to do something with wrestling, um, because, uh, for those who know the story, <coughs> um, you know, for those who know the story, you know that, like, I share a name with a wrestler already, so I kind of figured that, like, that was supposed to be what I was supposed to do, um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not even something that I really think about very much, but it is something that I remember from time to time, is that fucking... My f my my mother and biological father thought it was a good idea to name me after a fucking wrestler. Stone Cold is a cult, Susie. No, no, I I think their nickname is the Heartbreak Kid. I think. Let me double check.
It is. That was like I'm I'm fucking named after a wrestler, so I thought that I had to do something with wrestling. But uh No. Not really. I don't I don't really care about wrestling nowadays. The only time I hear anything about wrestling or like partake in any conversation about wrestling. At this point is when my friends are talking about how fucking weird wrestling is. Thoughts on the movie? I don't know anything about the movie either. I didn't even know there was a movie. <clears throat> I might have played Borderlands, but I'm really not that big of a Borderlands fan. Like, I, I think it's a neat game, but I don't really play it that much. And I don't, don't know how far I actually really got in Borderlands. So I don't, I don't know very much about it. Sorry. I'm back. Welcome back. I don't have an answer, and I decided that I've spent too too much time trying to guess. <laughs> I win. <laughs> yeah. Big Mac had like a fuck ton of other guesses, but you were already gone by that point. He well, guessed like. Either. Oh, he guessed the rest of like the the characters from the game that Mr. Hippo comes from. And that would be? <clears throat> I don't fucking remember, but he went through, like, all of them. I know, he had, like, the... I know he guessed the frog, he guessed the hippo, he guessed the pig. He guessed the... the elephant? There's an elephant, right? Yep, there's Orville. So Orville, yeah, he has- he, he did guess Orville then. That was correct. And he ba he basically just listed off the others. Of- of the- of that group. Fuck it, Unnezzy's your monster. Ah, uh, the bootleg gang. <laughs> Are we the bootleg gang? No, Susie and everyone else is trying to guess who my favorite FNAF animatronic is. Oh, fucking Golden Freddy. Nope. Freddy. <laughs> Are you okay? Because yeah, I was just thinking about. My brain went straight from Freddy Fazbear to. Fazbear! <laughs> Fazbear! <laughs> I'm surprised. I've never seen you give up a challenge before. Uh... Yeah, no, Susie's usually like. Crazy stubborn. Usually. Especially because you were getting really close. It's glam rock. Yeah, probably. I'll I'll, I'll no, keep the thought or I'll keep the hints in mind, and I might jump you with one later, but I I'm not gonna focus on it too much now because I've I spent enough time on it. <laughs> Dude. You know what's great? Mm. What? Ustop. What? Ustop. Yeah. I've seen a lot of, like, you know what the funniest part about Usopp cosplaying is? I have never mm. seen a male Usopp cosplayer. <laughs> it's always girls, and I get it, alright? He's the, he's the god of sex. 
he once fucked 8,000 people at the same time. I don't think that was one of his claims. I could be wrong, but I don't think that <laughs> oh, I mean, was one of his one claims. Have you seen Susie? It is true. I fucked 8,000 people. <laughs> Something tells me he's not making that claim. Um, as of now, where where he's like ripped as fuck in the land of Wano, absolutely he's making that claim. <laughs> it's like not only did I fuck your mom, <laughs> fucked every mom in your lineage. You want to try to make a guess, Avi? Uh. I, uh. I, I don't know a lot of them. Is it Springtrap? Uh, no. <laughs> is it. Is, is it. Bonnie? No. Is it the fucking alligator one from the new one? Nope. Is it real? Does it is it in the games or are you fucking with us? It's in the games. It's in a specific game. Is it the puppet? Nope, but you're close. Damn it. That means it's in That was That was No. I'm gonna save you the- I'm gonna save you the- the same headache that I went through. No, it is not in two. I went through the exact same thing. Cuz... <laughs> Nezzy said it was close to the puppet, and that's immediately my thought. Was just like, ah, so it's in two. William Grafton? <sighs> nope. Damn. I'll save you the other headache. My favorite character is not any of the humans. Great. Is it Foxy? No. Is it is it Chica? No. <laughs> is it the Oh, definitely boy? not. No. Is it I just Earth said it's nothing from Gen 2. I'm just- I'm looking through the wiki, I'm not even gonna fucking lie to you. <laughs> uh, is it... The... What is a Nightmare-on? Nightmare-on? I don't know how to pronounce Nart that. Night marionette. Night well, it, it doesn't- it doesn't fill the whole word in there. There's no et. Yeah, it's Nightmare-on. Yeah, it's a nightmare on No. Damn it. Is it Music Man? No. <laughs> music Man! <laughs> what the fuck? It was a MatPat meme. As of oh. the way that he said it, a lot of people went nuts because it's very funny. Music Man! <laughs> God. Man, Nezzy. You know what's crazy? I've got like two large blankets here and I've only got one meme if only there you got was no clothes, so you guess okay well... all right back to the wiki we go <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I think every other guy, it's like, you don't get news until you do this, or you don't get sex until you do this. For you, it's like, you don't get snuggles. And it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I will physically force myself to not sneeze. Until you get it. Big Damn it. <laughs> every time I sneeze, I'll mute myself. <laughs> I'll fucking scream. <laughs> it's so cute.
All right, you freaky dick. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Can I ask 20 questions? Um, as long as you keep track of it, because I'm not. Okay. Is it in the first game? No. Second game. Is this your fucking method? Yes. Then no. <laughs> you cheating, little bitch. That's not cheating. I'm narrowing it down. Then no, I'm not going to answer your questions. Well, I don't know any fucking thing about these guys. They're all the same to me. <laughs> you expect me to just go through every single fucking name and then just say it and then you'll just say no for all of them because this is a nightmare? Maybe. Picnic is asking if it's lefty. It is! I'm gonna kill myself. It's lefty. Lefty's I'm, I'm my actually, favorite book. I'm gonna kill myself because I saw lefty while scrolling through this. And was like, what if I said lefty? That'd be funny. Anyway, keep scrolling. <laughs> I'll kill myself. Well, I guess you're cuddling with Big Mac. Lefty's my favorite. The marionette is inside of Lefty. <clears throat> mm, I so, don't know Lefty is. the hints were... What were the list of <laughs> hints I gave you? I said I'd explain everything if someone got you, it. You said that it was close to the marionette, and that it was close to the little yellow... Or no, not yellow. The little white bear. The little... Helpy. Uh, help, helpy, yeah. Lefty appears in Game 6, Pizzeria Simulator, where also Helpy appears, as he helps you. The marionette is inside of Lefty. Circus Baby is also in 6. What about Mr. Hippo? Because you also said he was close to Hippo. Mr. Hippo is also in 6. Okay. But congratulations, it is Lefty. He's got a funky name. I love his design. He's missing an eye. When you said he's missing an eye, I was like, oh, is she going to get it? And then you said, no, it's entered. And it's just like, oh, never mind. <coughs> I remember I, like, froze. <laughs> you also told me I was close in that sense, too, but that would have completely thrown me off the fucking trail. Because, well, I mean, everything else is throwing me off the trail, too. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was all. As I said, I was keeping the hints in mind, and I would probably just start looking up things about FNAF. I would have probably got it, but I just didn't want to keep guessing. I thought I just saw your character hold a gun, and I was going to be like, me too. No. I do have characters with guns. This is not one. I don't have any characters with guns, because guns are for pussies. Instead, she has a bow and arrow, which is just a gun, but shittier. Okay. Alright, Avi. Yeah. My sweet baby lefty. Well, don't say that in front of my parents, or else they'll get very upset. As to them, lefty is a slur. <laughs> Trying to put him in a good position where I could like put him on the camera. Let me see you. There he is! Oh my god, it's that man. Look at him. It's him. Oh, this guy. I've. While well, I was going through the characters, I saw him, but I couldn't find a name for him. I didn't know whether to ask them either. And I want you to see me a little cute. Just, just kiss the camera. <coughs> I'm trying to turn off the camera. There we go. No. I want to see more of your ceiling. Yeah, he's my- he's my baby. 
damn jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna cuddle my lefty. Damn jealous. There's not a lot of merch of him either, which sucks. Dude, it's like, um... Did I ever tell you that my brother has the most unfortunate fucking favorite Pokemon of all time? What would that be? Um, well, I mean, in terms of merch. Yeah. His favorite Pokemon is Tauracat. Yeah. Because it is the middle evolution of a evolutionary line that no one likes. <laughs> So there is no, there is no existing Torah cat merch. Try Etsy. Excuse me. Ow. Bye -bye -bye -bye. Good. Yeah, no, I just I choked for a second. I choked for a second, and not just by my girlfriend abusing me. I actually just, like, had shit in my throat. Excuse me. Found tour cat merch. Is your brother into Legos? Yes, ish. Found one. There's a there's a Lego Toracat. Yep. That's sick. Could you send that to Lego me? Lego Toracat building set. I'll get it for him, and he will be like, "Wow." Well. I always love that. Numerous times friends have come to me as like, I can't find any merch of this thing that I like. It's just like, I found it. Yeah, no, I looked around, um, like all of Google for fucking Torah Cat merch. And then when we went to Original 151, I was like, do you guys have Torah Cat merch? And the dude was like, we have been running this shop for years and years and years. You are the first person to ask about Torah Cat. <laughs> I just sent it to you. And I was like, well, I guess I'm going to piss my pants. <laughs> oh my god, it's just actually Torah Cat. Holy yep. fuck. <clears throat> oh, and there's a Brio and a Dartex one. Why is the Torah Cat one fifty dollars Probably because it's so rare to find. I thought you were going to say probably because Torah Cat's so cute. <laughs> You better work, bitch. <laughs> work, 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 and then parentheses work. <laughs> I also, um, last night I dreamed I was watching Game Grumps and I made up a Game Grumps episode in my head and I was convinced it was real. I was like, wow, this is exactly what they would say. Like Dan was talking about like 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 boobies and shit, and then Aaron was screaming at the top of his lungs because he like 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 Mr. Jump or something. And then he he yelled about how like the game didn't teach him anything. And like as there was a sign on the screen that says press B to jump. I was like, wow, this is really distilled game grumps. Thank you, Ed. Nezzy, if you had an Etsy, would you be Etsy Monster? <laughs> an Etsy, but the problem is, is that I uh, I can't make one for my country. Oh. Even though all of my items would be digital, it won't let me. That's cring. I'll make an Etsy can I store. Take, can I take your location? Sure. And say that that's where the store is. Yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> no, like, are, are you joking? Like, for real, you can do that. No problem. I have been meaning to ask you that. Like, asking one of my friends is like, hey, can I, like, take your location? <laughs> for yeah. that sake. Yeah, no problem. Jesus. Whoa. Oh, look at that. It's a Torah cat plush. What? Like, for real? Like, like you're, 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 you're not yanking my chain? No. Great. I mean, if you were yanking my chain, I'd feel a little uncomfortable, because even though it's you, uh, my, my, my chain is very unyankable. I also found a figurine. Hold on. I'm sending you everything that I'm finding. Hell yeah. I get to be a good brother-in-law. Yeah. In-law. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. What is... What are you doing? <laughs> hmm? oh, sorry. What is it the right thing? <laughs> sorry, the plush. That's, where they go. that's not the plush, that's a figurine. Damn it, I'm gonna kill my entire lineage. You wanna know what's funny? Is that the fucking plushie is cheaper than the Lego set. <laughs> Alright, now. Alright then. <laughs> what the fuck? That actually doesn't surprise me. Lego sets get fucking expensive, guys. I don't know if you knew this. Mm -hmm. They do. Like, I'm not at all surprised that the plush is less expensive. Oh, it's only 13 bucks? He's gonna flip his fucking lid. Oh, I found a different plushie that looks better than that one. Nice. Because that one looks kind of doofy. Yeah. Yeah, this one looks a lot better. <coughs> Yeah. Let's go. Well, now I have to wait an entire fucking year for his birthday. Get a birthday present for I also found something on Redbubble if you want it. Oh, I think just the plushies are good. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> But it's Torcat as Garfield. What? Show me. <laughs> Ash, I currently require some Lasaga. I the, the bit that's been staying in my head from Game Grumps is like, Daddy, can you be able to give me some snacks, Daddy? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I think it's really stupid. Where's my money, Daddy? Wait, I also remember Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When we're in the same room, when we're in the same room together, it's gonna be the best for us and no one else. Daddy, do you know where I can find some money, Daddy? That's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna be like asleep, and I'm gonna like p fucking slide a little like my phone into underneath your like your door, and it's just gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we're 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 two we're two peas in a butt. 
But there you go. You clearly didn't try hard enough to find Torah Cat stuff. Hell yeah. I win. My win. Aaron wins. Silver wins. Sonic wins. <laughs> I can do it's no use. I could tell and I could tell you what's one thing that's funny is that my default way to pick up my lefty plush is to put my hand around its neck. <laughs> it's just the easiest way to hold it, because I have small hands. Oh. How did he beat your little hands? Oh, small hands. Mm-hmm. Small hands, small man. God. I'm gonna try to find more lefty stuff. I want more lefty stuff. But a lot of people don't even like lefty, but I love well, lefty. Well then, Nezzy, why don't you just go on fucking Tumblr if you want lefty stuff? Because in comparison to Pokemon, FNAF isn't as big. <laughs> oh. And Lefty is definitely one of those characters that gets left behind. Oh. I'm surprised they made a Jumbo plush of him to begin with. I always love, though, when, my, when I first ask, like, oh, what's my favorite FNAF character? Everybody's like, it's Glamrock Freddy. It's like, nope. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, okay. Lefty looks like a faba. It's... Look, I'm just saying... You make that assumption really easy. You well, make I like that him. assumption really, favorite. really easy. I like him, but he's not my favorite. Well, clearly, we just spent like half the stream talking about it, so... <laughs> See if I can find any lefty stuff. And the second one says Mexican corrupted lefty action figure. Ooh. It's like, why do you have to make it clear that it's Mexican? <laughs> Actually, I know why. There's... It's because a lot of bootleg FNAF merch is made in Mexico, and a lot of fans have noticed that it's a lot better than the stuff that we get. <laughs> I just... I don't understand FNAF. <laughs> Mexican corrupted lefty. <laughs> I don't understand FNAF. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. It's so funny. Mexican corrupted lefty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm really glad you're having a nice time. Oh god, it's so funny. I mean, like, if I would have said that my favorite FNAF character is from the app game, you would have actually lost your mind. Uh, I mean, yeah. Probably. That's where shit gets nuts. I swear we got Jingle Jangle problem on our hands. Shit going nuts! <laughs> oh god, the bootleg lefty stuff looks hilarious. <laughs> no, look at his poor eyes! Oh man! <laughs> oh, I mean. Poor, he looked like 
He got stung by bees. <laughs> he looks like he got stung by a ton of bees. Hold on, I'll, I'll send a picture of it. He just looks like he's got stung by a fuck ton of bees. <laughs> Look at him. Look at how sad he looks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how fucking sad he looks! Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> oh <Just> shit. <laughs> the poor little man. For, for everyone the here. poor little man. <laughs> no, not my small man. He got stunned by a bunch of bees. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> There's a Funko Pop of Lefty. I'm not surprised. Don't they have like a Funko Pop of every FNAF character? <laughs> Not everyone. It's like, it's like FNAF is the t compressed version of Pokemon in that one of them is somebody's favorite, but the likelihood of finding merchandise for that favorite is uh, from easy to hell. Oh, gross. I don't want to be on fucking American Amazon anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of things on American Amazon you wouldn't find in any other place. Like Transformers and Dildos. I swear and... to god, I thought you were about to say fucking transphobia. Look. <laughs> Look, it's better than what you can find on eBay. Apparently you can find coke on eBay. Really? I oh, did I? Actually, I don't like no, it makes my feet hurt. I mean, I mean, cocaine. Oh, yep, yeah, Susie, do you not know what goes into Coca Cola? I, I, I know that there, there's a reason we call it Coke, yes. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, they had to keep it going now because, like, in the year of our Lord 2022, interest in soda goes down if you're not, like, giving gimmicks to it. So they would uh, put the cocaine back in. <laughs> <laughs> the fur was in there no. too. They're like, Bleh. but yeah, she is no. For Cthulhu, baby <laughs> plushie, what? Nice. But yeah, no. Apparently, okay. I don't know if I can tell this story on stream, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's a funny story. Um. So, my, uh, my mother's a reseller on eBay, right? Um. And, uh, we've, we've had to, we, we, we don't really have a lot of room in the house, so she's had to, like, buy a storage, like, a storage container off of eBay. Like, she won the bid, and then she, uh, she got a chance to, 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 to have it. Now, um... Something to note, that is, uh, when you don't pay for a, a storage container, because it's like a continual thing you have to pay for, if you don't pay for it, you get like a notice to have to clean out the, the unit, you know, to get all your stuff. Uh, and if you don't do it under a certain time, then your stuff is just gone. It just goes to the next person, whoever has the storage container. So we wound up with the stuff, we wound up getting the stuff that the previous owners had. And what we found was short. Uh, mm. So what we found in that uh, in in that was nothing short of uh, out of a cartoon. <laughs> uh. Um. <laughs> so we found. Uh, so apparently, uh, what we found in there was a. 
uh, we, we found a bunch of, like, police reports in there. Uh, specifically about, um, or sp specifically police reports of, like, domestic abuse from both sides. Um, uh, and a lot of, like, drug-related stuff. Um, and you know, that, it kind of, it kind of tracked, because the more that you went, or the more that, that they went through it, the more that they found. They found, um, some, like, old, discolored, like, needle, uh, dispenser thing, or, like, needle, or things to get rid of needles in, right? Some, some old, discolored, like, vials, um, and I'm not even kidding, there was a bag of cocaine in there. Uh. <laughs> that is both fucked and funny. It is the scariest thing I heard. Because the minute that I was told, the minute my brother came in and told me, I was like, are you fucking kidding? Please say psych. Please, for the love of God, say psych. But no. No, they, they... All of that existed. They... My mom just threw it away instead of, like, turning it to the police or whatever, because she didn't want to deal with it. Um, but for a time being... For a time being, there was, like, a trash bag in the, the kitchen that just contained a bag of cocaine. <laughs> and that has to be... It's, it's one of the fucking scariest things for someone like me, because I don't, I don't want to get involved with the law if I can avoid it. <laughs> it's just a bag of cocaine in the trash. <laughs> I mean, this was, this was a while ago, so it's not there anymore, but like... That was, that's, that was what... That is, that is what we had. We had a bag of cocaine in the trash at one point. Um, I probably shouldn't be telling that story on stream, but like, I think it's funny. In like, a weird sort of way. <laughs> in kind of a fucked up sort of way. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> so that's, uh, it's been my mom's journey with being a reseller, I guess. Something I've also, I've also said that I probably shouldn't say on stream, but I'm gonna say anyway, because I thought, I think it's funny. Um... Actually, I mean, it really doesn't matter, because I've already been doxxed, so who cares. Um... <laughs> just the fact that my mom's a reseller means that, theoretically... I mean, they would, they would never know, but theoretically, they could buy my docs. They would never know. That's the best part. You know? You wouldn't know. But theoretically, you could. Anyway, that's uh, those 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 are those are two thoughts 
that happened this morning that I shared with you guys. Um, Am I, am I still online? Did I just get taken down? Like, in the middle of stream? Hello? I... Susie, I think somebody summed up the Twitter situation perfectly. What? Oh my god, we're living out the 80s kids movie trope of an evil rich guy bought the community center where we hang out and it's gonna destroy it. Fuck, we'd all better learn to break dance really fast! <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Quick, Susie, we have to learn how to break dance. Where did my references go? Am I... Oh, there they are. Okay. It looks fine. Okay. My shiny friend Cheers is coming. My shiny friend Cheers is coming. Whoopee! <laughs> Fucking what is it? What what, what was it? Let's <laughs> play Fortnite and drink cola. Yippee! <laughs> That meme is so stupid. But I love it so much. <laughs> we play Fortnite and drink cola. Yep. <laughs> what do I think is the worst game so far in 2022? Um, I haven't played enough games from 2022 to say. But I guarantee you, a lot of people are going to put fucking Saints Row on their list, because of fucking course they are. It's a game of Twitter. I just can't wait to watch, like, everyone's, like, worst of the year list and just see fucking Saints Row on all of them, because of fucking course. And what then watch it even- and then- Steam. And then watch it just come out on Steam and it's not even nearly as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Can you tell I fucking had it? <laughs> There's uh, one thing that I'm currently excited for, and that is the fact that we have reached November, which means it's officially Christmas. And that means... <laughs> that means... Um, we get to play Christmas games, and Christmas games on Steam are hilarious. Oh, I have one on Steam that I have not played yet, that I've just been looking for an excuse to, so I guess I can do that this year. What is it? It's one called Jingle? Hmm. It's, um... It's a game where you play as an elf that it's just fucking had it. And, uh, oh. you go through and... And, uh... Massacre the the fucking workshop. Well, don't ask how I found this game. I've had it for years. I don't. I don't know. 
Well, the games that I were thinking about playing was like... <laughs> I spy... <laughs> Finding games... But alright! <laughs> alright, I think works too, yeah. Got different vibes for Christmas, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! I I try to find things <laughs> with like weird grammar, and you massacre thousands. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> It's like, I go on Game Grumps every once in a while. It's like, a lot of the games that I find are through YouTubers that I like to watch. And the, the most fascinating thing I've found is, like, those weird I Spy games. Um, they make, like, a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. And mm -hmm. I'll watch, like, a little bit of it. I think there's maybe only, like, two that I've finished. And everything else I've, like, stopped at a certain point. Because I want the rest of it to be a surprise and a challenge for when I play it. Because they're weird. They're so weird. I used like, to have some I Spy games back in the day. Like, how much weirder could they be? The plot. The voice the acting. Plot? Okay. The grammar in some instances. And the animation. <laughs> like... Okay, imagine a live 2D model where the only thing that's animated is the face. Not even the head. Just the face. <laughs> that's what a lot of them are. <laughs> I think one of the funniest moments, though, one of the funniest moments was... So there's voice acting, right? And there's a moment in when they're nearing the end of one of the stories where the girl's audio is just fucked. Like, she'll be- she's talking normally, and then, I think it's over here! It's just like, she spiked the mic, and it's like, what the fuck? I think her audio got corrupted or something, but it got fucked. Look, you had me at I Spy Games that have lore now, so... Eh. Do you want me to at you when I play them? So that you can see? I mean, maybe, because like, the I Spy games that I had didn't have story. I think it's I- kind of weird to oh, me. Oh man. I'm considering buying the Christmas Carol one, but the other one that I bought was like, you have to find your mom. And I was looking at the screenshots like, that's just fucking Elsa. <laughs> that is straight up Elsa. <laughs> From Disney's Frozen! <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious. It's it's so funny. And, like, I'm trying to find whatever game was one of them that they played that had, like, they had some terrifying animation. Just the uncanny valley. It looks horrifying. It's so funny. <laughs> It's like if someone made a video game out of the Cats movie that came out, like, a couple years back. Oh yeah, that was more than one year ago. Mm-hmm. Uh... Why does time feel simultaneously too vast and too slow? That's what happened to me the other day. I went to go take a nap at, like, 12, and I woke up at 2, and it's like... Oh, it's only two o'clock. I look outside, it's dark as fuck, and I look at my phone, it's the next day, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm just another writer. Still trapped within my youth. <laughs> uh, 
I love the fact that you didn't react to the fact that there is a there's a Christmas Carol game. <laughs> Why would I? Seems pretty standard. Fair enough. There's a Christmas Carol I Spy game. With yeah. a different plot from the movie. I didn't even know I Spy games came with plots, but everything else seems still about right, yeah. And the a Nutcracker one, too, which I've seen a bit of that one. I think that's one of the ones that I finished, and oh my god, it's wild. And the rat, maybe a pedo. <laughs> uh, uh. Like, there's some stuff that's not adding up about this. Because, like, there's a... There's like a whole thing that they bring up, like the Rat King's been after them for a while now. And there's like one where it shows her as a little girl, and it's like, yeah, the Rat King's been after her for a while now. So you say? Um. <laughs> All right. And they're done. Hello. Hello, little buddy. I see you have switched from the flesh cube to the little blorbos. I saw them this morning and god, there's a lot more... a lot more colors here to work with. Whoa, that's I huge. Yeah, there's a lot more to work with here. Yo, can you send me that? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh... I have moved on from the flesh cube to the flesh balls. I mean, I still have the flesh cubes in case I want them, but this does seem like it has more variety to it. More to take Ooh. from. Pink Robot made a four hour video. Rendering that is gonna be a bitch. Thank you. God. Oh my god! What? Susie, I found an animal that you might like. I mean, there's a few of those. I want it's, its eye. <laughs> I'll have to look it's at it here in a sec. Its eye looks like, um, God, what does it look like? It looks like, you remember pound puppies? Yes. It looks like that with no eyelid. Okay, let's see this. It looks Look, like a bat got like... run over. Look at how huge its eye is! It, is... it looks like living... It looks like a living, like, bear skin, but very, very small. Yes! It looks like a rug was given sentience. <laughs> I love him. I found it through Heaton, which she made a post saying, look at this weird little freak. I love him. <laughs> which he is. He's a little freak. And I love him. <laughs> Dude, I think it'd be cool to just take a bunch of like the really weird. 
a bunch of the really weird uh, animals that I really like, and just like come up with like little creatures based on them. Like not straight up Pokemon, but in the same ballpark. Twitter is over. Meet me in chat room B. <laughs> Wait, what? I never understood how the chat rooms on the DSI worked. I never really figured it out. Oh, they were local. Aww. <laughs> I used to talk to... Uh, I, used, I used to talk to one of my neighbors through it. It was fun. It's like the... Like the modern version of the little cup with a string on it. Yeah. That's kind of what it was. I also used to make, like, little animations with them. Because you would, like, be able to, to make a bunch of stop motion stuff with them. Oh, uh, that was cool. I miss Flip No Hatena. I think they uploaded like the whole thing online. Like the whole of the the thing. I don't remember. But um <laughs> Flip No Hatena was like the original how I found my taste in music. <laughs> and now it's TikTok. Yeah. That is a fucking pipeline! Hold on! <laughs> I never did think about it, but Flipnote is just the original fucking TikTok. Kinda. I never thought about it that way. Also, Elon Musk is uh, apparently arguing with Hank Green. <laughs> Huh. He just told he told Hank Green, Hank, try a Google search. It's Hank Green. <laughs> he just told Hank Green to do a Google search. No. Okay. Do you not know who Hank Green is? I'm looking it up now, actually. It's the dude that makes Crash Course. Oh. Okay. Do you know how many college students rely on Crash Course? Did, did it you know literally... that I... <laughs> Crash say, Course? Did, did you know that I never did college? <sighs> My point is, is that if you want an in-depth look at it, Crash Course gets recommended more to students than the actual textbooks that we buy. Huh. Yeah, it's just like, this is your friendly reminder that I did not do college. No way would I have been able to afford it. And I don't like the idea of being in debt all my life. Have you ever seen that, like, Twitter meme from forever ago about the difference between male and female character designs and animals in animation? Uh... The, you mean the ones where it's just like, oh, they draw, like, a normal animal and then they give it tits later? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? I don't, I don't know, I just, I got reminded of it, and I think it's, I think it's just something that's really funny to think about every once in a while. Cause, like, oh, somebody put a screenshot of like a bunch of 80s cartoons, and it, one of them was like a bunch of animals, it was like, yeah, 
why do they keep giving the female animals wigs? <laughs> like, they gave them hair. Like, full-blown hair. <laughs> like, no, you need to know that this is a girl. Look, all I'm saying is... Before the era of furries really kicked off, nobody really knew what to do with themselves. <laughs> Don't even act like I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep them as mittens. I really don't care to draw hands this, for this this ref. I just I don't care. They're mittens. <sighs> I tend to draw hands as much as I can, but like no no not right now. forever since I've drawn this character. <laughs> uh. There's a... Someone made a tweet saying Tim Curry always know always knew the assignment and Tim Curry quote tweeted it by saying knows. Look at my man! Look at my main man! <laughs> How dare they not add Toxic from Fern Gully? <laughs> How dare. Did you like Fern Gully or something? I did. I think it was an okay film, but it had a really great villain song that I loved a lot. I do not remember a lot from it, <laughs> but I remember that song. And it solidified the fuck the fact that I would have loved to have fucked Tim Curry.
Someone's asking if it was the real Tim Curry's account. I don't know, in all honesty, because it... <laughs> <laughs> the the taxes at not the Tim Curry. <laughs> I don't know Tim Curry's actual Twitter. <laughs> People are loving the fucking game freak. Game Freak got rid of gender thumbnail, but somebody actually went to the dude's channel and found like all their videos. And one of them is my favorite. It says Game Freak created death. Yeah. Dragonite says he doesn't think. Dragon Dragonite saying that he doesn't think Tim Curry actually has a Twitter, so that's why he was asking. I don't know. But look, look at the thing. <laughs> I put it in no mic. That's yeah, great. Game Freak created death. It's my Twitter I need to find a damn Wii remote so that I can use the emulator. It's a, it's a lot. I feel like it would be a lot easier to use the the Wii remote. Because I want to play Epic Mickey. Because we bought the game years ago, but I never actually sat down and played it. <laughs> and apparently Epic Mickey 2 is on Steam. See, this is the thing that I don't understand. I feel like bringing... Because Wii was one of the most well-sold consoles ever. Why wouldn't you just move all the games that are on the Wii onto the Switch when they run at basically the same amount of capacity and they both have motion controls that aren't that different from each other? Because Nintendo doesn't read half the time, actually. Nintendo hates all of its old games. I mean, I hate a lot of my old work, too, so I relate. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying... Nintendo would make think if they would just make their own, like, Steam. Yeah. They'll never do it, though. Never. Well, there's always the Nintendo PC. You want to look at this teapot? <laughs> mm, sure. <laughs> it's got bubbles. <laughs> oh god, I love I love Twitter sometimes. <laughs> Bye.
paz. I love how much Sims 2 music sounds like it's copywritten. <laughs> it's like, Sims 2 had no fucking right to go as hard as it did on the music. Uh, my favorite thing about Sims will always be that they actually got like some of the singers to come back and sing the songs again in whatever language The Sims has. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I love the fact that Simish is just a fucking translatable language, too. I think that's, that's a level of... That is a level of detail that they did not have to go into, but they did. It's like how, um... It's like how J.R. Tolkien made Elvish and Coos Duel. I think it had a name. This might have been Samarian. Could have been Samarian. I love Coos Duel. I love it. It's a very romantic language. <laughs> the Sims pulled a Star Trek with Klingon? Yeah. You can actually, like, if you wanted to, you could sit down and learn Simish. So we are, li effectively, we are listening to actual pop music. It's just in a different language. Yep. And I think, I think that's insane. Shout out to Sims 2 for having Paramore earlier on. Yeah. I do I think I have the, the Paramore uh song somewhere in here. Paramore Yeah, I'll, I'll have to show you the Paramore song later. Like there is straight up a song that sounds like it's just Paramore singing it. I'll have to show it to you later, though, because, you know, we're on stream right now, but... Thought it was just a nonsense language? No, um, they're... They've... People have gone in and, and translated it. I remember when I first heard about that, I was so confused. It's like, wait, what? And it's one of those fun facts that I'll never forget. So I just love the fact that now I can have actual pop music in my, uh, my, my soundtrack. But it's just in Simish. <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's- it's comparable to having, like... I don't know. Uh, it's comparable to just, I guess, having, like... Maybe, say, French pop or something just in the playlist. It's so funny. As long as pressure and it's only in the console versions. I, I mean, I, I have, as I said, I, I have the Paramore song in here. Pretty sure, at least. Mm. 
Sims 2. Where is my Sims 2 soundtrack stuff? No, I don't have pressure. But I do have another one in here that sounds a little like Paramore. Pressure. Push it down on So, me. so you might be Push thinking of a you might be thinking of a different song, but yeah. Cuz I have one in here. I know I have one in here that sounds like it's just Paramore. Do you know what the real lyric to that is? It's, it's not you're an asshole. What? Do, do you know? I, I don't even know what you're referring to. Pushing down on me, pushing down on you, you're an asshole. Oh, I thought it was like no matter what. I, I don't know where anyone gets you're an asshole from. Like, it never sounds like that to me. Oh, it says no man ask for. Mm. No man ask for. <laughs> yeah, I've always heard no matter what. Which was always kind of a weird love... lyric to me. I love you're an asshole though. I love <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> I just think it's so <laughs> Pushing down on me, you're an asshole. This is, like, easily one of my older characters. <laughs> I don't even think I've drawn her on stream, like, ever. Pressure's in the console version of Sims 2, even if there's another song in there that sounds like Paramore. Well, no, I'm just talking about, like, you might be thinking of a different one from what I'm thinking of. <laughs> that's, Bless that's, you. that's what I'm referring to, because I have one in my, my folder that sounds like Paramore, but, uh, I don't, I don't have pressure. I'm, I'm not saying that you're wrong, I'm, I'm just saying that we're thinking of two different songs that sound like Paramore, which I think is... I honestly, it's kind of funnier, frankly. <laughs> the fact that there's two of them. If I had a nickel for each.
Hey, Murda. Is there a Sims version of Misery Business? <laughs> probably not, but you could probably find someone doing one. No, there is one song that I actually put into Sims. And I this is one of those things that like stays in the recesses of my memory because I didn't record it and I kinda wish I did. But there's a there was a song in the because I, I used to mod The Sims a lot. Um and I uh there was one song that I put in. Like I put it just a bunch of my music into uh into the Sims. And there was one song I put in that, like, when it was playing in the game, sounded Simish. Like, it, it, it was being spoken in Simish, and I'm, I wish I could find the song. Because, like, I don't remember which one it was. But it was, I, I remember distinctly that, it, like, it sounded like it was being sang in Simish, because it was. Anyway. Here's my little... Or I say little, but there's my, the, my long-eared rabbit character. Change the way that the, the ears look. The old way that I drew the ears was weird. And with that, that might be the last one that I do today. How long have I been going for? Yeah, I'm not gonna have time to do another one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop off. Later, guys.